Okay, so now we need to uh, code in how we're going to fire. I've got our form key press here. And if you don't have it, it's under form events. And over here, key press. And then that takes you right into here. All right, so now in here, for me, I use the space bar. So if you want to use the space bar, we're just going to throw an if statement. So if e dot keychar is equal to and open quotes, space, close quotes. If that's true, then we're going to do the following. And we're going to create a bullet. We're going to create a timer for it. Then we're going to call the timer and start the timer. All right. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to move the screen over a little bit. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is uh, actually increment the number of bullets. So number of bullets is equal to plus equals one. So now we grow that by one. Let's create the bullets first. Bullets, whoops, bullets. And what spot, num of bullets. Num of bullet. I'm gonna highlight this and copy it because I'm gonna use it quite often. So keep that in your clipboard. So number of bullets is equal to new picture box. Next part, bullets, uh, number of bullets, this time dot back color, whoops, because we're going to keep our bullets red, I was thinking, back color equals red. Next, bullets, at number bullets, in location. So where are these bullets going to start from? And the location is going to be equal to, let's think about this for a second. Where do we want the bullets to come from? We want them to come from the turret, from the gun, right? So it's going to be wherever the gun is. Does that make sense? So we're going to draw a new system. So a little VB code here. System dot drawing dot point. Okay, now where is the point going to be? The x variable is going to be the x variable of the gun. So PB gun dot left. And we're just going to add, because we don't want it coming out the left side of the gun. We want it coming out the middle of the gun. So I'm going to add about 35 here, comma. So that's the x variable. Now the y variable, so think of x and y on a Cartesian plane. The y variable is the uh, up and up and down. So it's going to be whatever the PB gun dot top is. And that one's never going to change. PB gun dot top. Should be good. Next line. We want to get the size of the bullet. Bullets. Number of bullets dot size. And how big do we want them? I was thinking just five by five. So size is, think of the code here, give me a second, sorry. Uh, new size, new size, and then X and Y. Actually that one's I guess height and width. Next part, we need to give it controls. So remember we reference the form by me, dot control, whoops, dot controls dot add open brackets and what do we want to add it to we want to add it to bullets at number of bullets and close bracket so that should add our bullets now that they wouldn't be moving but we've added to it Does that make sense next we need to create a timer all right, class. So here we go. We uh, what did we do last? We made uh, every time we press the space bar, we make a bullet. We haven't moved the bullet yet. Let's take a look at what we got going on. Press play. And we got some aliens sketchy across the top there. Whoop whoop. Looks great. 
And now if I press the space bar, nothing seems to happen. But if I move, hey, I did make a bullet. Except it looks like I'm dropping little eggs. All right, press the space bar. Okay, so I'm making bullets, but the bullets aren't traveling up. So that's what we're going to do right now. How are we going to do it? Inside a timer. And if you think about it, the timer is just going to move the dot top value, or sorry, decrement, or lower the top, the dot top property. So the bullets are going to start here. We're going to minus five, minus five, minus five, minus five, until it gets to the top. Okay, easy enough. We need a timer for that. Let's go to the toolbox, grab a timer, double click it. Let's rename that to move bullet. Makes sense? Let's put the interval at, um, well, we could change the interval as well. Let's try 50 for now and see if that's fast enough for our liking. And if you think of our game design, let's say we, uh, we create some sort of special feature in the game mm -hmm. where uh, you, you can drop a bonus pack and that bonus pack is going to fall from the sky and if you take your turret and move over top of the bonus pack you could set your interval of your bullets instead of 50 you could set it to like 5 and then all of a sudden they can shoot a lot faster that's exciting let's code that timer it's pretty simple stuff all we're going to do is move whatever bullet we have we're going to minus 5 from it. So if we type that in, let's go for that. So we're going to say bullets at uh, num. Let me zoom in for you here. Oh, See that now? And this is at what spot? Num of bullets dot top is and we're just going to minus five from it all right simple enough right but watch what's going to happen that is not going to do what we expect it to that is going we have to remember to turn the timer on where we're going to turn it on well whenever we press the space bar for the first time we want to turn the timer on so we're just going to go in here and say What's the name of our timer? Move bullet dot start. So now if we play it, press play. Hey, there goes our bullet. Now watch what happens if I press another one. Whoops. Look at that. Only one of them goes. If I shoot again, it always is going to jump to the latest bullet. Not what we wanted. Because in our code, let's go down to our timer code. In our code here, we're just saying, all right, minus five from the index number of bullets. Now, if number of bullets is equal to one, we're just going to minus five from bullet number one. When we hit spacebar again, number of bullets becomes two. So remember, that's only going to minus five from bullet number two. So what we need is every tick of the clock we want to look for all the bullets. So if we have 17 bullets on the field, we want all 17 to be minusing. So we're just going to use a for loop for that. For. I'm going to change instead of LC, I'm going to use X. X is also pretty standard for being a loop counter. So we're going to set X to 1. And we're going to go, how high are we going to go? To number of bullets. Number of bullets. And we need the next next in there now we want number of bullets instead of at this spot because this spot's never going to change we want it to be at x so now think about it one tick through so it ticks once it's going to go from one to one and that bullet's going to go up one then we create another bullet bam the guy hits a space bar so the number of bullets is equal to two so it's going to go from one to two it's going to move bullet number one up five spots. Then it's going to go through the loop and move bullet two number up five spots. Make sense? Yeah, probably not. All right. Let's uh, play that. Let's zoom out. Oh, I zoomed in. Let's zoom out. Zoom out. 
Here's our game. Press the space bar. There's a speedy bullet. Hey, look, and they're moving. Can I move my turret? I can. Alright. I think those bullets are going <laughs> pretty slow. And I think our users would be quite upset if we did that. So let's uh, change the interval. Click form design. And then we want to call it move bullet properties. And change that to say 10. Alright, let's give that a go. As you can see, I have a very fast computer. All right, so now it's going a little bit faster. If you want, uh, notice you can't press both at once, which kind of sucks. So, well. okay, so I'm going to X out of here. Again, if you want the bullets to go even faster, we could just uh, go to bullets property, changes to one. I'd like this to go a little bit faster too. One. We can't go decimal. So one is as small as we can go. However, instead of going up by five, we can also go up by 10. All right, there goes our bullets. Pretty fancy, eh? Good. Next, let's learn how to collision detect.